What is going on guys? It's your boy Phantom J back in the building and today I got a banger video for you. Today we're gonna make s'mores tarts guys. Now if you don't know what a tart is, a tart is basically just an open face dessert in a biscuit crust. If you don't think you've ever seen one, if you eat a gizada, that's like a Jamaican version of a tart in my opinion. And for all those who don't know what a s'more is, a s'more is basically just a biscuit sandwich made with chocolate, marshmallow and any cracker. And real quick before we get into the video guys, I just want to give a little bit of info. Now, the videos I'm putting up, these are easy make recipes for everybody who's on quarantine. On quarantine, we don't get access to everything we might want. We have to prioritize and get things that we need. So I just give you recipes on stuff that you can use at home to make out of the box or really tasty treats. It doesn't have to be something overly expensive. I just want everybody to get the chance to enjoy good food while you have to stay at home. So without further ado guys, how about we get into this video? Now for this recipe guys, you're going to need 8 ounces of butter, 5 to 7 packs of your favorite sandwich biscuit, today I'm going to be using Oreo but you can use any kind, 1 bar of chocolate, a quarter cup of sugar, 2 ounces of milk, but if you don't have anything to show ounces, a dry measuring cup can work. You'd use one third dry measuring cup. And lastly, you will need marshmallows. Now, originally I wanted to use the Jet Puffed Marshmallows because those are my favorite roasting marshmallows. But instead, I got the cream filled. Oh wait, yep, yeah, them taste good. All right guys, you can use them same way. So now for the cookie powder. First off, separate the cream from the inside of the cookies and then set it aside. Next up, you're going to get a clear plastic bag and anything in the house you can use to beat it because now you're going to use that and mash out the cookies. Now be careful guys, I know it might be fun to mash the cookies, but don't do it too hard or you go burst the bag. Now for the crust making. First off, you're going to add the butter, the cookie crumbs and then the sugar are you going to mix them out if you have a hand mixer you can use that otherwise for everybody else you can either use your hands or you can use a spoon once you mix it out well and it feels very coarse you're going to add it to the pan and you're going to press it out as evenly as possible try to get it as thin as you can so you're really going to pat it down in there next you're going to place the crust in the oven and bake that for five minutes so it's not going to take long to do Next up, we're making the filling. Now, in a big enough container, add the chocolate bar. Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir! Chocolate! Chocolate! Next, you're going to add warm milk. Mix that out a bit. Then you're going to add the cookie cream and the rest of the cookie crumbs and then mix that out until it's very thick. Now you're going to put that butter into the pan on top of the crust and make sure that it's spread out evenly but you don't mix it otherwise it's going to get into the bottom of the pan. Once you have it in the pan you just put it back in the oven for another five minutes. Next up you're going to take the pan out of the oven then you're going to set it aside for one minute. After one minute you're going to place each marshmallow inside evenly and once the marshmallows go inside Put it back in the oven and then let it bake for 15 minutes, constantly checking it to make sure it doesn't overdo. Now, not everybody will be able to get the jet puffed marshmallows, so if you didn't, you're going to want to make sure to keep checking because different brand marshmallows take different times to cook. So you're going to want to keep checking that oven every now and again. To know when the marshmallows are fully done, they'll start toasting so they'll get a nice brown color on the top. Once it gets that, you're done. So after you remove the pan from the oven, you're going to place it in a cool area, then you're going to let it sit there for one hour to cool by itself. Guys, you know how my videos stay, so by now you know it's clean up time. So how about we get to it meanwhile that tart is cooling. So after one hour, once it's cool, you're going to notice that it falls a bit. Don't worry, that's normal. You're going to get a knife and run it along the sides of the tin, after which you're going to put a plate on top Turn it over and let the cake fall out by itself. 
Once it falls out, all you have to do is cut it up, serve it, and enjoy the tart you made. Hope you guys like that recipe and I can't wait to hear in the comments how it turned out for you. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and before I go guys I just want to give a quick shout out. My friend Michaela, she's a YouTuber. She is very funny, she's new. Guys I just want you to go and give her some support, drop in the likes, give her some comments, you don't know how the thing sit. Hope you guys staying safe and I look forward to seeing you guys when I drop the next banger. Get up, live up, stay up. Peace out. Mr. Machiavelli, I make them disappear just like Harry Houdini, Vinny, Malaria, please.